And now to a Fox 5 exclusive. Notorious jewel thief Doris Payne is out on bond again. We were there this afternoon when the 86-year-old walked out of the DeKalb County Jail. Well, police arrested Payne this week after they say she tried to steal a $2,000 necklace from a store. Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell spoke with Payne about the arrest and her criminal history. I'm happy to be free. A smile from Doris Payne as she leaves the DeKalb County Jail Saturday. In her latest case, the 86-year-old is accused of trying to steal a $2,000 necklace from Von Marr at Perimeter Mall. Being a thief ain't the worst thing you can be. You know what I mean? Would you say you're more than what people may think you are? I Who don't is care Doris? what people think I am. Get that. You're not listening. I don't care. I know. It don't matter. It never has. Payne's Dunwoody case comes after her arrest in October of 2015 in Atlanta. There, police say cameras caught her stealing pricey Christian Dior earrings from a Saks Fifth Avenue. Anything you want to say to the stores? I don't want to say anything now, and I don't want to be rude. I'm tired. Payne had much to say to a judge this week during her court appearance. She acknowledged her criminal background and promised she wouldn't disappear if granted bond. Payne's run-ins with the law spanned some six years. In this 2013 documentary, The Life and Crimes of Doris Payne, she talked about her life as a jewelry thief across the globe. There's never been a day that I went to steal that I did not get what I went to do. Do you think we may see this type of incident again happening? I know you won't. I know you won't because I got what I needed. And what's that? Whatever it is, I got what I needed. For now, Payne insists what she needs most is to enjoy her freedom. Any plans for the holidays? Eat, drink, and be merry. In DeKalb County, Marissa Mitchell, Fox 5 News.